Chapter 13 of The House on Mango Street is called There Was an Old Woman, She Had So Many Children, She Didn't Know What to Do. Rosa Vargas is a single mom with a lot of poorly behaved children. The kids are always getting into dangerous situations and never heed well-meaning people's warnings, so people have given up on trying to help them. The Vargas children's recklessness has gotten them seriously hurt. Chapter 14 of The House on Mango Street is called Alicia Who Sees Mice. Alicia goes to college and takes care of the domestic duties at home. Her mother's dead, so it's up to her to get up early to make tortillas for everyone's lunchboxes. She sees mice when she's studying in the middle of the night, but her father insists she's just seeing things. If she closes her eyes and sleeps, as women with families should do, he says, the mice will go away. Chapter 15 of The House on Mango Street is called Darius and the Clouds. Darius isn't very smart, but he said something wise. He sees a cloud in the sky he says looks like God. Esperanza believes one can never have too much sky. Chapter 16 of The House on Mango Street is called, And Some More. Esperanza, Nenny, Lucy, and Rachel are in the Cordero's yard looking at clouds. Esperanza tells everyone Eskimos got 30 different names for snow, huh? and there are at least 10 different names for clouds, such as Cumulus oh. and Nimbus. Nenny starts assigning the clouds human oh. names as Esperanza trades <gasps> insults with Lucy and Rachel, which leads to a fight. Both sides try to get Nenny on their team, but she isn't listening. She just keeps naming clouds after people she knows. Alicia, like Esperanza, is trying to improve her circumstances without resorting to marriage. She studies hard so she won't have to take care of her father and her siblings for the rest of her life. But her dad thinks a woman's place is at home. Alicia's father's willful ignorance of her goals and the mice in the house are both symptoms of traditional patriarchal rule. Things that don't directly affect the men aren't important. Alicia's story is a warning to Esperanza, who doesn't want to end up like Rosa Vargas. Rosa is so overwhelmed by single motherhood that she can't control her children. It's a vicious cycle she can't escape. The children are bad because she's tired, and she's tired because the children are bad. In the barrio, it seems mothers and wives never get their happy endings. According to Esperanza, there's not enough sky in the barrio. It is hard to see the sky and the clouds in the city. She has a poetic desire for wide open spaces. She finds a kindred spirit in Darius when he compares the sky to God. He understands the hope Esperanza feels when she is drunk on sky. All of this is lost on Nenny, Lucy, and Rachel. Nenny is a different sort of dreamer than Esperanza, which suggests she will be able to create her own happiness even if she follows the path society expects her to take. <laughs> <laughs>